Ishnu Allah, friends. Welcome back. We're in Forest Song this morning with our friend Kenneth Stillwind. Jack Jack, the level 29 night elf druid, almost level 30. And just need to do a few quests, I guess, or some grinding until we hit that point. Now, I was going to do the Insane Druid's quest, but I've been rethinking that entirely. I just don't think that we can do it. It's just a little bit out of my le our level reach. So rather than do that, I thought I would hand in the Sata quest and then maybe head north to the Tower of Alphalax. And then we should be pretty close to level 30. I could just grind away at creatures, but I thought maybe it's better to at least hand in the quest that we can hand in. So if I look at the quest log, that quest is complete. That was the Sata Horns quest. The Tower of Alphalax. I'm not sure there's a part two to this. I need to speak with Balthul. I don't think I'll get much in the way of experience just for speaking to him. There's a Stone Talon quest, which means I need to hand in this over in Stormwind. I could do that. It's a little bit of a trip, but maybe it's worth the trip. And this one here, deliver a sealed envelope to, that's down in Ratchet. I'm just going to dodge her. Um, there's a few ways I can hit 30. So maybe the answer is to head over to Stormwind. At least there's a druid trainer in Stormwind in the park, which is good. So at least I can get my, my new spells then. The one I'm most looking forward to, obviously, as most druids do look forward to, is Travel Form. Travel form gives me, I think it's a 60%, no, actually that's too high. Maybe it's a 30 or 40% speed increase when I'm traveling around. So we can really get places a lot faster. Okay. And so for now, I'm just going to ignore those insane droids. The basic problem with that quest is down in the barrow, there are three druids. Each is about level 32, maybe 33. That means they are effectively three, four levels, maybe higher than I am. I can defeat that level, possibly, if, if I get lucky. But I also remember that those druids do self-heal during the fight and it just makes the, the battle go on and on forever so I think that I can come back a bit later and do that quest now there's the Krog as well I could do Krog but this is going to sound a bit silly I just want to keep this, this rod so I can turn myself into a fell bog whenever I want for the sheer novelty factor of it. So there's that. Anyway, to, to make this a smooth pro process, I think I'll hand in the quest that I can hand in. I might have to do just a little bit of bad guy grinding. I am curious about the Tower of Alphalax though, and how high level I need to be to complete that. Seven twenty one AM server time. I think after this it's probably worth moving on from Ashenvale, generally. 
It's a great area. I love the trees, the ambience, and so on. But it's just such an enormous questing area. Just running backwards and forwards, up and down this path. And we've really done Ashen Vale to death, I think, now. It's probably time to explore a new area. We've done most of the quests here as well, which is which is always good, I think, to really milk out the area that you're questing in. But as I've said, I feel like there's not much more for us here. As you can see, Questy's not really throwing up much. We could have another crack at Fero Iron Hand. That's the escort quest. Maybe it's a good idea because we are heading up that way anyway. But you'll remember last time I tried it if you watched that episode. It got a little bit out of hand with the last mobs. And Fero's health just got annihilated basically. We can have another have another go. See if my mood leans that way. My dash is on. Still not on ready for use yet. Okay, so I need to head down to the shrine. Hopefully I get some good experience for that quest. That took a long time. That was the one where I had to kill those demons and get their horns. I think I was there for about half an hour in that little area. I also have a lot of things in my mailbox that need to be placed back on the auction house. It's another one of those housekeeping tasks. I've got 97 gold at the moment. I'm very close to my goal of 100 gold. When I hit level 30, I will need to spend a bit of gold to get my new skills. So, I'm not quite there, but I do have, as I said, tons of stuff in my mailbox that should be able to sell and push me well into a hundred gold. Once I hit a hundred gold and go above that, I'm going to start maybe splurging out a little bit more on gear and things like that just to make the leveling experience a little bit more, I guess, smooth. Okay, where are we going? We're going to pull off the path here. And go down to the shrine of Asina, which is just down here. I might use my dash. It's actually a little bit over that hill. Oops, just over here a bit more. Oops, right into some spiders. Am I going the right way? I am. If that spider leaves me alone. It's going to chase me. At least he's not snaring me with webs. That's good. I just decided in my head I might give that escort quest one more chance. I feel that inner heaviness of dread thinking about that. But you know, sometimes in life, when we face difficult things and succeed, we feel good, and also, when we face difficult things and don't succeed, we also feel good, because we tried. 2500, that's a really nice experience. Okay. 
So back into cat form. And let's just go to Maestra's post, which is just up the road. I think the secret, I'm thinking about it now, I might save up my uh, big aggro spell, my, um, I can't know what it's called, it's like a raw spell which taunts every player in the vicinity. I might save it up for the final battle. It has a 10 minute cooldown, so I maybe shouldn't waste it on the earlier battles like I did before. So I better buff up before we do this quest as well. So you remember there's a couple of paladins down here in this clearing at Maestra's Post. And it's Firo Ironhand who is the one. Okay, so we'll buff up. We're also going to buff Firo as well. Going to have some omelette as well. The nice thing about Firo is he does set a good pace. Okay, are we ready, Firo? Here we go. They do indeed. They do indeed. Okay. So I did okay before on this quest when it was the first group or two. It was the last group that really threw me out. I need to throw a heal on Firo as well before the fight starts. The good thing is he always stops and senses danger before the fight starts, so that's kind of good to know. I'm going to zoom out a little bit to give myself a bit more of a, an overview of the battleground. That's another handy tip when you've got lots of different creatures coming at you. Oop, here we go. So we'll... Try and gain. There we go. There's four people to defeat here. It was a little bit sloppy in that battle. I kind of lost my my mind for a moment there. Firo's going to go off and finish off that last mob. I need to heal up myself. Hero, Firo's got full health now. Okay. Anytime you're ready, Firo. Anytime you're ready. Let's go. So I'm going to keep him unlock frame. I'm gonna pop him down there. Maybe I should put I'm gonna put a little circle on his head. I don't really need to but you know why not? in these fights is to pull the aggro away from Firo. I'm noticing too that I'm losing his 
frame on the screen. I'm not sure how to keep a copy there, which is a bit upsetting. Okay, I'll let Vero finish off that mob. first two, which are the most diff uh, most simple side. The next is really difficult. I need to be really mindful about Firo's health, so I need to really throw him a heal, jump into bear form and use my bear gain aggro spell for the whole area. I can't remember what the spell's called. The fight happens just up here on the border between Ashenvale and, uh, what's it called? Darkshore. Just up in that clearing there. It's on the mini map. So I'm going to be very well prepared in advance. I'm going to throw him a rejuvenate. Drop into my bear. Getting ready, and here we go. Okay, bear form. There we go, got aggro, and now it's just a matter of can I grind them all down. Oh, there's a heal there. Who's healing? I need to heal up myself. That healer there has to go. Is he a healer? I'm not sure what he is. Okay. Doing very well. Zero's health is looking very good. I'm going to hit him with a stick. Well, that's very exciting. Complete. Oh, I thought I had to hand that in. In uh, Darkshore, I guess I don't have to go back to Maestra's post and hand that in. Not to worry. Well, that's not too big a problem, I guess. I'll just head back to Maestra's post, get that handed in. I don't know if it's going to give me enough. Let's see, looking at the experience bar, I need four. Thousand. Oh, my maths isn't that good. I'll just be a little bit short, I think. I wonder if there's anything I need to hand in in Darnassus. Zoom out. There's a quest there, Valinda Star Song, to hand in. The question is... The question is... I don't even know what that quest is called. That's my first question. What is that quest? Linda Blade Weaver, Linda Star Song. That one there. 
doesn't tell me how much experience I get. Hmm. We'll see. I have to make one of those educated gambles. There's Delgrim. I wonder how much experience I get for that escort quest. Oh, I just dinged 30. That's very exciting. Okay, well, I guess in that case I can half straight to Dinassus. Happy days. It was worth doing that quest after all. Okay, and let's go straight to the trainer, I guess. Also, I've got a new talent point to spend. I already know where I'm spending it. I'm going to spend it right here in nature's grasp. Still got a few talents to go until we get to natural weapons and then omen of clarity. Moment of Clarity is a very good spell. And we might put a few things on the auction house. Okay, here's a Druid Trainer. Just for a change we'll use Phylarian. So I'm just going to unfilter that. Nature's Grasp. I'm not quite sure. Oh, it's rank 2. Okay, let's just get it. And rank 3. Fairy Fire, which is a great spell. Definitely get that. Wrath, rank 5. I don't really use Wrath very much, but why not? Bash, level 2. I do use Bash occasionally. Shred, I definitely, definitely use. And travel form. Absolutely. There we go. Mark of the Wild. For sure. Rebirth. Haven't used it yet, but better to have it and not need it than to not have it and need it. Regrowth. Don't use it as much, but I will use it. Oh, and Tranquility. That's a really good spell for group healing. Not that I've done much group work at the moment. Now, still curious when I get my bite. Bite spell. When do I get it? Level 32. Okay. It's a little disappointing. I had half hoped I'd get it then. So the first order of business is... Let's get all these spells on the spell bar. Balance and start there. So I've got Fairy Fire rank 2. There we go, put it there. I've got Entangling Roots 3, that's already there. Nature's Grasp, rank 3. Let's put that on the bar there. Wrath. Starfire, got that. Wrath, rank 5. Perfect. Feral Combat, might just drop into pretty much already on my my bar. Just want to make sure of course. So Bash is rank two. Yeah, it does that automatically, that's good. Got my travel form, it's down here. I'm very excited to use that. Shred is rank two. Already there. That's all done. Let's go to restoration. Pop out, Healing Touch, rank 5, Mark of the Wild, that's new, rank 4, Rebirth, rank 2, I'll pop that, oh I need new reagents to use that, need a reagent vendor, Regrowth, rank 4, I'll put that on the action bar, 
rejuvenate rank 5, already done that, and tranquility, let's put up the end there, it's one of those spells that you probably won't use very much. Now is there a reagent vendor here? Yes there is. So what am I doing? I'm getting rid of the maple seeds and I need this seed. How many shall I get? Ten? Ten's good. Just sell my junk quickly. Things that I probably won't need as well. Okay. Let's scoot over to the bank. In travel form now. Look at that. I become a leopard. Or is that a cheetah? It's a cheetah, I think, actually. And the speed is 40% increase. How's that? So good. Okay. We're now going to make some excellent progress around the game. So I'm going to pull a couple of things out of here to sell. I'm going to sell that. And we'll sell the silk. What else should we sell? Maybe we should put some stuff in there. Strangle kelp will sell. Is that King's Blood? Let's sell that. And Bruce Weed. Let's sell the Bruce Weed. This is just taking up space now in my in my bank. I might just drag that over here. Yep. Sell that. I'm not gonna do a full auction posting of all the stuff I have. We'll have a bit of a clear out. I don't quite have the skill for that recipe. That's upsetting. Okay, that's pretty good. What's in there? Nothing. In my ooze colored bag. Colored, covered bag. So we'll sprint over to the auction house real quick. I guess the big question now is... Where are we going to quest at level 30? And I'm thinking I might go back to Duskwood, finish off some of the quests around there. But first, let's just talk to Auctioneer Golophus and sell some bits and pieces. Okay, let's start with this. Ooh, linen cloth selling very high price. I doubt anyone's going to buy it for that price, but anyway, they might if they're desperate. Let's just put everything on at whatever the market is wanting for it. Very nice. The prices are quite high this morning, which will either mean I'll sell it and become rich, or it'll just won't sell and they'll end up in my bank. Those are really nice braces. I'm just going to try and get 90 for those. Someone will like them. Heavy leather, selling quite well. Silk cloth, wool selling. Wool cloth not selling very well, but anyway. We'll just give, give the market what it wants. Moss agate. Not too bad. That's junk. Sell that to a vendor. Medium leather. Not selling amazingly well this morning. Light leather. Average. Here's um, a bit of a chest armor. Once again, scarf here. That's probably way undervalued for that, but anyway. Get rid of the peace bloom. Medium hide sells quite well. Light leather usually sells very well. The wool, unfortunately, not selling for a, a huge price. Strangle kelp. 
no one's selling it, which means I can set the bar high. Let's put it at 30. Maybe someone who's desperate will buy it. That can be sold to a vendor. Brythorn. Selling pretty well. King's Blood. I've got a lot of King's Blood to sell. It's never as high as I always thought it should be. King's Blood, despite its rarity. Oh well. That can be sold to a vendor. And I think we are good. Oh, there's some light hide. I can sell that too. I've still got bits and pieces in my bag that I'm probably not going to use. I might have a quick look at healing potion. They're very handy. Make them usable. Filter them by usable. These are the ones that I really should be getting now. I might, um... buy these little cheapies down here, down the bottom. Okay, that's pretty good. What else? Mana potions also come in very, very handy. It's kind of expensive. Might just give them a miss for the time being. Although I could, I suppose, just grab a quick one of those there. With mana, often it's just enough to shift me into cat or bear in the middle of a battle. And while I'm here, why not let's have a look at staves. See if there's anything ridiculously cheap and good. That's not too bad. Plus 20 healing. But I don't really need plus 20 healing. Things like strength or agility would be better. And I've got a lot of strength already. That's a good staff, but look at the prices. I think that's just ridiculous, personally. Okay, let's have a look at some leather armor while we're here. Again, the prices are all quite high. Shoulders. These are nice shoulders, actually. Oh, that's very nice. Seven agility, seven spirit. Again, these are very nice. Okay, I'm going to splurge a little bit. I'm going to grab these agility shoulders. I'm getting a bit sort of spendy because very close to my savings goal. Emblazoned chest piece. Another nice chest piece. I've got quite a good one at the moment. I guess I should look at things that are not so good. But I'm wearing. See if there's anything that's really too low level. Those braces are not amazing. Oh, they're not too bad, I suppose, looking at the options here. The gloves. These are not amazing gloves either. Let's have a look at the hands. These gloves are all expensive. Except for those. There's a nice gloves there. Five gold. The archer's gloves of defense. See, let's have a look at the waist. The waist is search. Need to search. Oops. Misclick. Okay. Oh, that's a nice belt. Not too expensive either. Dark leather. It's not a huge, huge upgrade, but such a good price. I might just go ahead and grab it. Um, 
other trousers. Legs, there we go. Arcane spells, I don't really need that as a druid. Well, as a feral druid particularly. Look at these, these are awesome. 14 agility. Priced at only 90 gold. What a bargain. Now, those are pretty good. But they're only a little bit of an upgrade, really. Okay, I'm going to forget legs. Boots. Where are my boots? My feet. Let's have a look. Boots of the whale. Spirit. I've actually got a half decent pair of boots on, really. These are nice, actually. But not a massive upgrade. And finally... Finally, miscellaneous finger. Always expensive rings. Ooh, that's actually a good price. There's a good price. I'm going to buy that one. A little agility buff there. And what's the... Oh, my back. I didn't think of that. No, I'll come back to that in a second. My neck. That's what I want to look at. Oh, gosh. Look at the price of neck pieces. That's terrible. Um, cloth and back. Let's have a look. There's a big stamina cloak, but I've got an okay stamina cloak on. Really, I can't see anything that represents a huge upgrade. They're all quite expensive too. That's actually quite nice. Get strength and stamina. Four. Well, that's good too. Look at that. Five strength for a gold piece. Oh, I don't know what to do. Agility, that's also good. Agility there as well. I'm just going to give it a miss. It's a bit too overwhelming. Okay. Let's jump down. And we'll run over to... There. Actually, there's a quest to hand in back here. I forgot to do that. Let's go do that. And a maybe vendor, vendor of some junk as well. I'll do that here. My old friend, Clorindia. There we go. I think I ran past her before and didn't hand it in. Six hundred. Search through Valinda's chest. Where is that? It's down there. Okay. I've kind of forgotten what the point of this quest was, but I'll do it because it's here. It's here. I need to go across that bridge there. So her chest right there. Got her journal. And now we hand it back in. J.E. 
Schiene mit Wände. Another 600, very nice. The Baron's Port. Speak to Wolfmaster Dizzywig in Ratchet. Okay. That I can do as well. So we'll zoom down to the bank. Equip our new gear. This might be a nice time to... to pause. As we've just hit level 30, got new gear, new spells. So let's take some of the new items out. Like that. And put them on. Equip them as they say. Look at both shoulders, 10 agility, very nice. And put the health potions on the bar there. Okay, well, I think that'll do for this session. I hope you've enjoyed watching Jack Jack hit level 30. Please feel free to like and subscribe to this channel. And as usual, your comments are very welcome. Join me soon. Bye for now.